What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the Lights Army account, and we need to try to push further in Aspen Dungeon. Want to get to that Death 50 one day? Can we do it right now? Probably not, but we're going to give it a really good try, so... There's a few things I want to give a go here. So, we don't need this stone. We're better off using the Holy Attack Attack Stone. And I believe we are going to keep the crown on the first Russell. We are going to give him that resilience. And we're going to give him those vitality enables. We need him to live through his actives. That's where it's really going to pay off. Next up, Russell number two. So, again, we need that right there. And we need to do Vitality because Russell without HP just feels very lackluster when it comes to Aspen Dungeon. Don't need the Speed Stone. We'll just go with the Holy Attack HP. But there's something I want to try this time, and that is Kiss of Ghost Radiant. Just to give it a try. We'll see how it ends up working out. Although maybe we should use Torch again. Hmm. Interesting. Because even though this does say Active and Basic Skills, I believe... Passive arrows still count? I don't know. But again, if we kill the target, we don't heal. So actually, you know what? I, no, no, no. I decided. I changed my mind. Barry doing Barry things. We are going to use that wildfire torch. That is what we're doing. And yeah, resilience should be fine. Because we're going to go against Oberons with our Russell and Valkyries. Yeah, I think that's good. I like those enables there. That, no, that looks good. So, therefore, we can come over here and give our Ada a crown. Speed HP, but sadly, we don't have a second stone. It is what it is at this point. We are also going to run an Asmodel. And I've been trying to figure out what I want to run on Asmodel. Here's my thought process. Crit Staff. Sounds good. I know he's probably just going to be like some sort of node breaker for us. So I figure that'll probably work out. Um, no, I don't think. I think we're going to run him just like that. Or should we run him full out attack? Mm, decisions, decisions. Because we, de we definitely don't need him to last. We just need him to burst. Hmm. You know what? We're going to go full offensive with this guy right here. Even even this... Well, actually, no, that one doesn't matter. We'll leave Purify on. We'll be a little bit safer here. Resilience? Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave Resilience on. So we got the two Russells. We have the Ada. And then we're going to use one of these Terras as potentially a Node Breaker as well. Not optimal, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's get this lineup in here. Do that save. See how many demon potions? Six. Not that good. Oof. Oof. Eesh. Yikes. All right. So we're probably not grabbing much of anything in here. We're not getting profit orbs on this account. We will take those free things there. And then, of course, we need a lot of purple goo. Come on, purple goo. You can never do when you're wailing <laughs> with enough of that purple goo because it is really what holds you back from building heroes because you need it to build the food heroes, everything. So instantly we're against the Ada, but I believe one Ada does just fine if I remember correctly. Yeah, looks good. Pretty simple, pretty simple. All right. If we can get that for a while, I will take it. DA, a double DA. I believe Ada does just fine. I believe. And I need Coach June over here to let me know what's up. But I think she does fine with that end of round damage. Yeah, she just he out heals them so easily. And they should both die here. Ooh, almost. Does kind of suck that she has no energy now. But we are in the early stages. So it shouldn't be too much of a difficult fight. It grew again. Easy wave. I love it. Full energy Ada. I love that even more. Okay, Valkyrie. So this is what this Russell is for. So we're actually going to run him without energy and just see what happens. We got to see what happens here. Hopefully we can live. We're going to get damage reduced right here from our active. So hopefully between that and the Wildfire Torch, we handle these Valkyries pretty easily. Ooh, not at all. These Valkyries are so tanky. 
Yeah, and I think we die here, guys. I think we die. Oh, we procced and we're already down. So, yeah, we might kill one of them. Maybe two. Oh, so close. Yeah. Not going to cut it. Definitely need a demon potion on the Russell to win that one. So, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I just throw the Terra in there? Or can this Russell actually win? Probably not. Not without energy. And I really don't want to use energy. <sighs> Alright, we're going to throw the Terra. Sacrificial Lamb. See if he can kill off some Valkyries for us before he bleeds out. Actually, you know what? A Terra with a Torch might not be too bad. He actually killed both of them. Nice! We didn't have to sacrifice the Terra completely. Now we have a, a spare, easy win. Alright. Ada, we'll take that. We'll take that win easily. Valentino, huh? Valentino Oberon. So, ooh, Valentino Oberon. Oh, how we hate Oberons, don't we, guys? We just hate Oberons so much. But can't be CC'd when we're in the air. Of course, it does require a Demon Potion, which is a little brutal, especially when we only have six. But, you know, it is what it is. Vesa Ormus, interesting. I don't think the Russell can win without a demon potion. So we're going to pop one and go into it. Because I think he... Let's see what type of damage he would take here. Not much because we didn't let them get to their active. So I guess Russell with demon potion solves a lot of problems here. We will throw the Ada back in. And this should be a nice easy win as well. We'll just keep the speed up on the uh, the easier waves. The ones we're questioning, we'll watch. Wasted that energy, but it is what it is. No, not an angel potion. Wrong potion. I think Ada does fine against Starlight. Again, we'll have to watch. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. But we should get some energy here, so that's not too bad. All right. Nope, we don't need your deals. Get out of here. Single, single. Oh, double Ada. I think this Ada, although she might not have enough energy, I think she might lose here. And you know what? We're just completely topping her off. Let's go. Come on, Ada. You got that crown. Please take out this double Ada. Ooh, this is not looking good, guys. This looks like a rip city for us. Oh, no. <laughs> so close. All right. Asmodel, can you do it? I feel like Asmodel should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Good hit, Asmodel. You are our offensive weapon, and you have full energy. So I like that. You know what? Let's go. Let's prove your worth, Asmodel. Active right here. Nuking those Aspens. Thank you, thank you to my Asmodel. Our new Asmodel is serving us well. Hmm. If only we had the torch still, huh, guys? Oh, man. We're not going to get far. I think 30 was our max we've gotten so far. Nobody on our server's actually gotten to 50, which is interesting. I think we're going to throw the Terra in and see how we weaken them up maybe soften them up a little bit seal some off so we don't take extra damage let's see all right we sealed off the flame strike which that'll reduce the damage terra seems to be doing quite good against this very very good i would dare say wow and we don't even have resilience on the terra either Tanky Terra. Gotta love Tanky Terra. <laughs> this could be the dangerous part. Oh, yeah. They barely did any damage. Nice. Okay. I'll take it. Terra versus Cthulhu Waves. Check mark. Oh, this one right here. <laughs> so, let's throw the Rustle in. Hopefully, we end with some energy on this one. But Corpse Demon is not going to do enough damage. So, Rustle should have plenty of time. I mean, we're going to have to use the active. I almost hope it doesn't fully kill him, but it will. Because <laughs> then again, he ends with zero energy again. Okay, all right. Valentino. Solo Valentino. 
I think I think a Russ is going to take a Valentino out. Especially right here. Should be a lot of pings. Probably gets really close to just killing him. Get an active. So, yeah. That's the one downside with Russell is he almost always ends at zero energy. And that just means you got to use those demon potions for some of the tougher waves instead of just natively getting energy. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So, we are using a demon potion. Actually, no. We need two demon potions on this one. We need to live the first round. And then we should be able to nuke them down with double demon potion. As long as we don't die. Oh, yeah. Barely. Barely with double demon potion. Ooh, no, I'm in raw. Ooh, ooh, this is a nasty wave right here. What to do? So I think we're gonna go in and soften them up. Throw the terror in there to hopefully kill that Amon Ra off immediately. Let's see what happens. Because he should be able to hit slot one with the active right here. As long as he doesn't die from the Asmodels. Oh, not too much damage, but it does weaken. It does weaken her, which is good. Do you think Asmundel can win on this wave? Hmm. I don't think so. I think what we need is a demon potion. <laughs> if we had like 20, 30 demon potions, we probably would be pretty good in Aspen Dungeon, but. Yeah, even that 11 high roll probably would not be enough. Oh, he almost died right there. Good Lord, Russell. You are a squishy, squishy boy. All right, Asmodel, Amon Ra. Let's just see. Let's see what Asmodel can do here. He's got the faction advantage. Maybe he can just chop them down easily. Wow. That heal, though. That heal, though. Oh, my goodness. Asmodel, full offensive with faction advantage, is not that bad. We have one hope, and all that is is an energy rustle right here. Let's go, Russell. Please win. Please win. Oh my goodness, almost died. Oh, wow. Takes them all out, but in the meantime, he has to take all that damage. Ooh, no, Shia. I don't like Shia. Shia is a dangerous one. I don't think we can win with Russell here. I wonder, you know what? Let's go with the Asmodel instead. Throw him in there. He has an active. Maybe he'll do a big chunk of damage. All right, not too bad, but uh, oh my god, that was so close. This is not bad, though, because if Russell lives, he'll actually have some energy right here because he won't get to his active. Okay, so he's got full energy. So if we're going to face a tough wave, this is now the time for it to happen, game. Come on, game. Ooh, no. This is still a loss, though. But we have a chance, although it's probably not going to happen. I mean, the, the burns and everything are just going to eat away with us. Granted, we are in the air. We do take reduced damage, so that's good. We do kill almost. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to kill the Oberon? Yes, we are. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We beat the wave. Death 20, so not too bad here. Up against a solo Sigmund. I don't think I've ever fought a Sigmund with Russell solo. See how it works out. Round two, we're going to have to do a lot of damage here. It's not going to be enough, though. But we do get an active, and our resilience is keeping us pretty tanky in combination with our little Dazzle heal as well. All right, not too bad. Aspen, this one is probably death right here. If we get horrified, we are just completely screwed. Our only hope is to get a lot of damage on our basic in round two. Oh, wow, we actually have our active. Never mind, we might live. Don't, come on, don't don't kill us through unbending. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, Russell, I love you. Keep on going. Oh, no. <laughs> This one right here is probably a loss, especially since we don't have Purify. I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed loss here. Because we're just going to sit twined. Oh, wow, we actually broke out of it. Interesting. He does have control immunity built into him. Can we get into the air? Please get into the air, Russell. Oh, I think we have this, guys. Yes. 
<laughs> that built-in control immunity Russell has really, really saved our butts right there. Starlight, we've never faced a Starlight with a Russell either. Can't believe we're actually making it this far with a pretty botched up team here, guys. <laughs> this big nuke might really, really hurt right here, though. Oh, it procced us at 100%. I'm actually not mad at that, honestly. Because now we don't have to use any potions or anything. Well, all right, game. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Cthulhu, I think this one we can win. I know Terra could. I feel like Russell shouldn't have a problem here. Oh, just missing the active. This might hurt a lot. Ooh. Oh, no. We need to get full tank mode right here. No active, so I think we're good. Yep, and then big active. 14 million on everything. 14 million for a full tank mode like Russell. That's kind of crazy. Same wave again. Let's hopefully we can replicate this. Literally, okay, 100% health. Let's go. Oh, we have an active round two this time. Nice. This means we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Just killing everybody. One shot. That's what Russell does. If you can get up there. Oh, no. Shia. Oh, solo. Okay. Solo Shia, we might have a chance. Double Shia, I feel like we always lose with Russell. But uh, this could be sketchy. Oh, my goodness. That's so much damage. I don't think we win this, guys. Oh, please damage reduce. Save us. Oh my goodness, Russell, you're a beast. This is so sketchy, guys. So, so sketchy. I can't believe we're still going like eight rounds later. We're still alive. Solo Aspen, I think we can win. We should have a really good faction advantage here. We have that resilience healing coupled with the dazzling healing. So it's pretty solid. Getting procced way high up. I'm fine with that because that means we end at 100% health yet again. So let's keep on pushing. Ooh, no. Asmodel. Asmodel and DAs. This is really bad. Because that means we're not going to get an active because of the DAs. This is it, boys and girls. We die here. <laughs> Unless we somehow completely nuke out the DA. Yeah, no. We're going to just die through our unbending. So that's what I thought. Asmodel is so dangerous. But we got really close to our previous record of 30. So not too bad. I will take it. Death 29. Russell basically went from like 20 to 29 solo pretty much. So not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I know a lot of people don't get to see Russell in action in Aspen. So here you go. And I'll see you guys next time.